coma is when the body is in a deep sleep from which it cannot be woken up. Generally there are two types of comas. Firstly those caused by poisons, strokes and heart attacks etc. The second type are medically induced by doctors. During the coma, like in a deep sleep, the body may respond partially to the environment but isn't able to interact in the normal ways. For instance, the person may in, in a coma may be able to open their eyes or jerk muscles in response to painful stimuli. Or they may make some noises, that generally is the limit of their interaction. For non-medically induced comas, there is no way of saying how long they can last. Most often it's just a few days or weeks. Only in rare occasions do they last for years. The recovery from a coma is gradual and intermittent. The person is likely to be confused and disorientated and may have other medical problems. The reason that the body goes into a coma in the first place is in response to the lack of function in certain areas of the brain and in order to restore the function and preserve the body it shuts down all but the essential processes of the body, somewhat comparable to hibernation. It is this preservation repair process why sometimes comas are medically induced. It allows higher brain function to be preserved whilst the body repairs itself and reduces swelling in certain areas of the brain. Anything that can limit brain function can cause comas. This includes drugs, both overdoses and illegal, poisoning, head trauma, strokes, heart attacks, altitude sickness, diabetic shock, hypothermia, need epilepsy. As you can see from this list, even when the body recovers from a coma, the patient may have other medical problems. Generally, the longer someone's in a coma, the less optimistic their outlook is. But even someone who has been in a coma for years can eventually recover. However, it is likely that after several weeks in a coma, someone can either go into a persistent vegetative state or die. That, I'm afraid, is comas.